Thank you, and I appreciate and I appreciate the indulgence, and I'm sure uh, the chairman, I appreciate that. Chairwoman Bass, I thank you for holding this hearing today and share your belief that the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women's Act is critical and appreciate the opportunity to hear from our witnesses that are going to be talking about this. The Violence Against Women's Act was first signed into law in 1994 when the domestic violence was largely considered a hidden crime. The law signaled awareness of the need to stop the growing tide of domestic violence and sexual assault. While this law has helped us take great strides in the right direction, unfortunately, domestic violence and sexual assault are still far too prevalent today, and those crimes continue to disproportionately impact women. That's why we need to reauthorize the Violence Against Women Act and make sure it's working and focusing on those it was intended to help. House Republicans tried to reauthorize the VAWA Act through the end of fiscal year, but Democrats blocked that reauthorization. We wanted to ensure that this program remained up and running while discussions continued about ways to improve the current law. We remain willing and ready to work across the aisle and with our Senate partners to reauthorize VAWA. Unfortunately, my understanding is that the Democratic majority intends to introduce their VAWA reauthorization from last Congress, and it's my understanding I just found out, to actually mark it up next week. This radical legislation stands no chance of becoming law and is merely evidence of the majority's regrettable intent to weaponize this important piece of legislation to score political points. That is fundamentally unfair to women and all who depend on the services these programs provide. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses today and working to reauthorize VAWA in a way that reduces violence, protects victims, and ensures that the law works as intended. I would also like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the statements from the Coalition Against Trafficking Women, the National District Attorneys Association, and a letter from a group of survivors lead, lead the organization into the record. And with that, I yield back.